technical standards program is a means of helping businesses and developers to communicate with each other in a relatively non-competitive environment. A business can benefit by seeing what other businesses are struggling with, seeing what other people in the industry are struggling with, and can join a program that allows them to help create standards and to benefit from those standards in that all of their businesses would be able to communicate with other businesses, with customers, seamlessly and easily. There is a benefit of being actively involved. You get to share your view. You get to have an opinion and you get to share your opinion. You get to debate those opinions, those views, and you get to discover together with other people the solutions for that. That's what happens in a standard. People have discovered and jointly agreed a mechanism to solve a problem. And if you're part of the discovery process, you get to understand the root cause. You understand the circumstances, the context, the constraints. So you get a little bit of unique insight into not just the solution, but also the circumstances of the solution. So that is a distinct benefit of participating. However, you can just read the standard, use the standard, and exploit the standard for your own benefit in your company as well. The most benefit is of course to get in touch with other people that have similar interests or also are interested to define such a standard. And of course you can take influence on the standard as well and make sure that your requirements are actually covered in the standard. Of course you also have to be mindful of others and their needs, but if you either review or even help lead such a standard, of course you have influence and you can be one of the first companies or businesses that actually then implements and uses the standard. The TSC is an independent group of experts from different industries that also they have different technical skills. So the goal is that they can bring standards to the BSB community. The main benefit for the TSB is that they solve problems that are quite frequent for every company using BSB. So we have existing solutions that everybody can apply to these common problems. They don't have to reinvent the wheel. And also we have reassurance because we are solving the problem the same way that many other companies are already solving. So you know it works. You have to deal with less uncertainty. So it should also grow adoption because you're making it easier for any other company. I've been part of the work group for SPV, and SPV is uh, good for a lot of things. Normal Bitcoin transaction is contained, you can think of one, like a fixed hard code contract. But what if you have not that contract, but you have arbitrary contract? Whoever is trying to redeem or unlock from the contract, he has to provide the SPV that to the, let's say, receiver. So the receiver, he can easily check, okay, this is all legit. He can even run the contract locally, so uh, make it the uh, zero conf compatible and uh, practical. I think this is uh, kind of like a dilemma here, because on the one hand, you want to develop some like ad hoc solution as fast as possible to get it to the market. But then, if you look at the long term, right, because even short term, you can push it out, but because you are the only one who support this, it's not interoperable with other wallet or other token particles, then you are like limiting yourself, right? Because let's say the whole ecosystem has, for example, one million users. Make it standardized, you can leverage the full network effect. In a sense, in the short term, it may slow down a little bit because it's like any other committee or, or meeting, right? If you're not the central person who's just making some quick decisions, you have to make sure everybody's on the same page you have to have back and first, you have to take a while. But once you have that ready, everybody agrees, then in the long term, it's going to save you much, much more time as a whole. So hopefully this can <laughs> incentivize people to think about a little bit of long term, make sure people, you know, related parties, they're all on the same page from the beginning, which may take a little bit extra time at the beginning, but then in the long term, it's going to save you a lot of trouble. technical standard programs, you, you begin to understand the ways that benefits are going to come to customers through that process. So you know the framework around which customers are going to engage. The technical standards allow you to build into your products and your solutions those places you're going to bring the greatest benefit to customers. 
So that process of being involved allows you to explore and understand and build that world virtually first, which takes much less time to talk about those kinds of things and to think through those kinds of problems before you have to go write code. That process of being involved is something that, that really can bring companies a lot of benefit because it increases your expertise, it increases the usability of your products, and it increases the breadth of use because standards give you a larger community from which to draw upon for any benefits that your products are going to bring. So for Tokenize, a big part of what we're doing is it's a protocol, a token protocol, a smart contract protocol. So by its nature, it's meant for everyone to use. It's meant to be a backbone component in sort of the financial system of the future. For us, just having other people help us with some of the key details and really help us stress test our ideas and think things through, which we've been challenged on before and we were wrong. Better ideas came to the uh, forefront and ultimately it just saved us a lot of time. So we had, in some cases, the standards we don't need just yet, but we know we will need it in six months. And because of this organization, other people have done great work and done it ahead of us so that we know now when we go there, we've got something ready to go. It's gonna work with everyone else and it just takes a huge load off us. We would think it would be a very uphill battle without an organization like this, and we've already seen tremendous benefits.